Hello everyone. Welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we will discuss what is the routing and why routing is needed in Angular 15. So let's understand what is the routing. So if we talk about the routing, so the basically the use of the routing is used to communicate between the component and the respective page. Now for an example, on the button click or any link, when I'm going to click that button, then I want to go on another component or I will say another page. So for that kind of the scenario, we need the routing in Angular. So that is the main thing um, like we use it. The navigation or view changes happen when the user click uh, on the link or click on the button or enter the URL from the browser address bar. So even if you will uh, like you, you have the URL of an Angular application and you want to navigate to that particular URL, then it will not like in the other application, it will not uh, work in the Angular. It, it go through the routing. So basically in the, we have a routing class, there we set everything related to the pages and through that only it works. If we talk about the uh, routing, so router is basically import from the at the rate Angular router package. And this routing is basically a component based architecture. That's why as since it is a component based architecture so we need router uh, or we can say the routing through that only we can navigate between the pages now let's go on the visual studio and see here you will see when we create an application it always create one file called app.routing.module and here all the configuration happen like if in the future uh, like in the coming videos when we will navigate from one component to the another component then we will configure our component or the pages or the route we will configure in this file only and here you will see this route is basically import from at the rate angular slash router so that is the important and whatever the route we are going to uh, define so we have to define under this route array and here all the uh, configuration is automatically it is implemented and here what is happening like basically in the import this the route whatever the array is there it is configured here so this is the class which is responsible to create uh, the routing or the communication between the component we can create our own routing class as well if needed so that is the uh, basic thing about the routing now when we click on a button or when we say like when we hit any url for an example so how it do it basically matches the path so uh, it uh, angular look into the route array and match the path so basically as i told it check in this array and check like whatever so for an example i have created a student page so in this we have to give the configuration student and is check for that particular student what is the component name and through that it navigate so that way like basically uh, angular routing works in angular that use angular router only has one router service instance so that's the thing means once we created this route so it is only one instance here like it is basically a singleton class now angular router is a javascript router built and maintained by the angular core team the angular router is a core part of the angular platform it enabled developer to build single page application as well. Now for an example, in the same page, if I will define the div and I want to uh, like uh, navigate between the pages so that like this through this routing, it help us to make single page application as well. Now if we talk about why Angular routing is needed. So as I told you, this Angular is basically a component based architecture. So it doesn't recognize if we give any URL so through that uh, like the uh, route this route class how it identify here we gave like the route name like for an example student we define that student and then we tell if anyone going to navigate through the student then we give the component name like where the uh, user will go in other application we need to support uh, a url to navigate on different pages so that's why router came in picture uh, where we not need to support different urls so like uh, for an example like if i want to navigate to from one page to another page then we no need any other things like here router is the class through that we can navigate from one page to the another page 
now route if we have the router then what thing it uh, we can do so router a url to the right basically we can redirect from one url to another url it resolve the page re reload like for an example in, uh, in the coming videos we will see like uh, basically about the lazy loading and the error loading so it resolve the data before page load uh, reload so there are a lot of benefit when we go with the angular routing it run script when page activate or deactivate it even lazy load part of the application means based on the user request angular load the component so that also we will see in the coming videos like how lazy loading is easy when we are working with the angular routing so that is the basic about the routing in the angular and uh, like we have seen how and uh, why routing is needed in the angular application so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you